Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do a video. I've had these products kind of saved out to tell you about, and I could never figure out quite how I wanted to do it. If I wanted to do a, um, just favorite products, if I wanted to save it for my end of the month, or did I want to do a like um, quick beauty, you know, tips, time savers. And I never could kind of get it together. So I'm just going to, you know, do a random video and tell you a few things that I really enjoy using that I think work well and I think save time. And so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing is something that I saw on Lana Indiana's channel. And it was kind of perfect timing because I've always been one to, I can always do my own fingernails, but I've always loved getting a pedicure. And it got to the point where every time I was going, you know, it's like, I think to get a manicure and pedicure just in one of those cheap walk-in places was like $45. And then plus, I'd usually end up tipping them, you know, $10 or, you know, how, depending on how many people did it. And um, so I kind of got tired of it. And then I ended up getting a gift swap type package from Rachel. And she gave me some different things to use in the shower, like the um, buffing block. And I already had my cuticle cream that I love, which is the gel Sally Hansen. So I said, you know, I'm going to try to do this on my own. And right about that time, Lana did a video on this product, and it just was perfect. And it's called the Petty Scrub Foot Buffer. This is what the box looks like, and this is why I've kind of been holding it out, because I wanted you to see what, it's, what you're going to be looking for. It'll be like that. And I think it's hanging up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it is. It must not be because I don't see a hook on here. But um, And there's one for your hands, too, that I want to get. But what this is is a really neat little sponge, and it says um, this is the Lavender Tea Tree Oil Aromatherapy 4-in-1 Cleanse, Exfoliate, Massage, Moisturize with Glycerin, Olive Oil, Shea Butter, and Tea Tree Oil. It's a spa for your feet. And I think that was what Lana's video was. It was how to do a pedicure. And um, so I got it, and at first I, you know, didn't think much of it, and it's kind of hard because it's got all that stuff in the spongy side, but I just keep it in the shower, and it'll get softer and softer, and the stuff, it, when you wash your feet, it just feels so good, and it smells so good, and it really does, especially with me wearing flip-flops every day, um, and I just read some disturbing facts on things that they found on feet from people that wear flip-flops. Um, you'll have to look that up, but it was just some gross stuff. So now I've gotten where I wash my feet and my flip-flops every night. And I'm not really even a germaphobe, but it really made me think. Um, so I take this when I'm in the shower, and I just scrub my feet. And the sponge part is not too, it's just scrubby enough. And then, um, of course, you have the sponge, and the, you know, the liquid comes out, and it just makes your feet feel so good and so clean. And then just the shape of these petals um, helps you get, it's really important when you wash your feet to get in between each individual toe. And the way I found that out was because when I used to work in pantyhose and four inch heels every day, my feet were not pleasant at the end of the day. And I was kind of complaining about it to a girlfriend and she said, well, do you wash your feet? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I take a shower every morning. She says, yeah, but do you wash in between each individual toe? And I was like, thinking, no, not really. As soon as I did that, my stinky foot problem, you know, was gone. So it's just, I guess you take for granted that if you're in the shower, it's going to wash in between your toes. But this is perfect because now it just, that little petal thing goes down in, in between each toe. And I can really scrub underneath my toes real good. And then I use that, um, just the block buffer thing. And I have been doing my own pedicures now for months. I mean, ever since I got the first one, and I've, so I've saved that money and that time doing that, which, you know, at first I kind of liked going, but then it got to the, it gets to the point where you hate spending the money, and then when your kids are in school for just X amount of time, and you have to do grocery store, Walmart, you know, dry cleaners, all the other stuff that we have to do, um, you don't want to sit there that long, really. So this is a great product. I think it's it's under $10. I can't remember. Seems like it's like uh, $7 or something. And it's the only place I've been able to find it is CVS. Now, I'm sure other places sell it. Um, but that's just the only place I've been able to find it. I looked at Target and at Walmart, and I couldn't find it. So, um, and it says 20 washes, but I think you get more than that. Um, 
my last one before it was you know worn out I gave it to my children because my little boy wears Crocs all the time and Brooke wears um, flip-flops all the time so it was perfect for them to scrub their feet too in the shower and in the bathtub so just wonderful product and I really recommend you try it and I thank Lana for that one um, another thing and I have talked about this before in my favorite products and everybody laughed but I think everybody that tried it loved it um, and it is the Venus breeze razor and I should have taken this out I have been saving it just to show you so you can see the package but you can see it's just a regular razor and it comes with these different heads and um, you can see that they're in there there's like um, in this package was like 12 or 13 dollars it came with the one razor and two car cartridges with the shave gel bars so with this you do not have to use shaving cream which I love because my shower is just, we have a, a tub, a garden tub, and then we have a, just a stand-up shower. And I have so many hair products and everything in there. It's nice not to have that one product. And I always was dropping it. It was just a pain. And this is just wonderful. Not only does it have the um, shaving cream built in, but this thing never causes me to get a nick or a cut. Um, I never nick my knees anymore. I used to always nick my um, little ankle bone. I would always cut it, and you know how it bleeds forever. Um, but I just never have any accidents anymore. And I used to use, I think, the Daisy razors what it was what I used, and I used the Skintimate shave gel. And I had to change those so much and buy shower cream that I think you come out just about the same. And this is awesome. I Under my arms, everywhere you shave, and it is quick convenient because you it and it promotes you to you know I hear people saying you know they don't want to shave their legs every time I get in the shower I do I shave every time I get in the shower because it's so easy and I really think that you would like it and um, it even smells good and I love it I've been using this now forever and the little the razor will last forever matter of fact um, the other one I have I don't even know how old it is it's pink it was like some kind of special edition um, and I've just been you know, waiting to um, show you guys this package, but I'm going to switch out. And you can get the cartridges, you can get the big packs and the little packs, and they're not real expensive, and they last a while. So, love that. Um, these two things are things that you probably already have in your collection if you paint your nails much, and it's just the remover pads and the um, little pot of polish remover. And you can see I buy the Bargain brand because, to me, there's no difference. Um, these to me are awesome for a couple of reasons. Now I've already mentioned to you one time that I love these for any type of um, glitter polish like that Hidden Treasure or any of those polishes that have the glitter. Um, I've also stopped using a um, sticky base coat for those because I mean they are just almost impossible to get off. So the felt pads are great for that but what I really love them for is I'll get a pack or maybe two packs and I'll put one there's always one in my purse. There's usually, I think there is right now, one in the drawer underneath my computer. Um, and then I have some in my bathroom. And a lot of times it's good for Brooke to just come get one and then go to her room and take off her toenail polish or fingernail polish. And um, it just makes it so convenient because, especially when you're wearing dark or bright colors, you know, as soon as you notice that chip, it will start driving you crazy. And it's so nice that if I'm in the pickup line at school or sitting there watching videos or anything I'm doing, I can just get this out and go ahead and take off that nail polish and um, get that part out of the way. And I, that way it doesn't bug me to keep having that yucky nail polish on. So I love these. And then the next thing is this um, CVS. And I really like this one. Um, it has a lot of, I don't know if you can see without me spilling it, but it has a whole lot of stuff in it. It's not one of those real dry ones that you get. And, um, of course, it stinks. Um, but I, this happened by mistake one time, and I have loved it ever since. One night, I think I got in the shower, and I wanted to take off my dark nail polish. And I also thought, well, gosh, it'll be great to go ahead and do it in here now, because then, you know, when I wash my hair and everything, it will get all that residue and dark, you know, off my skin and out of the corners of my nails and stuff. And so I took this in the shower with me, and I ended up just leaving it in there by chance. Well, then it just worked out that every time I got in the shower, I, or every other time, however often I wanted to paint my fingernails, which is usually, I usually paint them about every other night. 
um, unless it's something I really like that's lasting well. But um, I would just keep this in the shower, and then when you're in the shower, you can just take off your nail polish really quick. Then you wash your hair, and then when you get out of the shower, you're fresh, ready to go. You know, your feet are already scrubbed up, and what I usually do is, you know, I'll have my hair up in the towel. I will go ahead, um, after I put my lotion on and everything, and I wash my hands, get the lotion off, I will go ahead and put on my base coat. Like right now, all I have on is my base coat because I saw a polish yesterday at Ulta that has been on my mind, and it's like a fuchsia color, and um, I had to come home to make sure I didn't have anything like it, and I don't, so I'm going to go back and get it today, and so I'm kind of waiting to do that. But um, I like to go ahead and get my base coat on. That way, no matter what I'm doing, or a lot of times I might wait till after I do my hair or right before I go to bed, um, I already have that base coat on. And that just ends up working better for me. I used to have a little basket that had all of my remover, you know, polished base coat, top coat in it, and I would bring it out and, you know, do a little ordeal. But, you know, as times have gotten busier and stuff, I've ended up, I kind of like doing little stages when I can because it's kind of like I get to paint them so often now and I really never feel the inconvenience of it. Um, especially if you get a good, I've been using that Orly Want Chip top coat and it seems to dry really fast and it really does help. Um, I will not say that it lasts two weeks or even a week, but I would say a bright or dark polish, if your nails are pretty short, will last a good four days. And to me, that's that's a lot for a dark polish. Um, even though I've kind of gotten out of the, I don't know, I go through phases and you guys know that. Um, I kind of hate that in the winter time, there's no, it just seems like there's no happy polishes anymore. <laughs> and you know what I mean, like that Lola, Orly Lola and Strawberry Margarita, all those polishes to me are just so fun and happy and, um, you know, I just get tired of wearing the nudes and the grays and the all the murky colors. So um, that fuchsia color I saw, um, I can't remember if it was Orly, I think it might have been Chi, but it was a real pretty fuchsia and it reminded me of the, you know, at Christmas, um, a lot of times there's that hot pink fuchsia that comes out instead of red. And that's kind of what it reminded me of. So, um, And I'll just, probably what I'll do is just periodically do these type of videos because a lot of times there's just products I want to tell you about that, you know, whether it's clothes or um, you know, makeup, hair products, or whatever that I don't necessarily want to put in my favorites, um, you know, or I don't want to forget them, that I'll start doing some little videos like this because this is the kind of stuff, if Lana had not showed me that um, precious foot scrubber that I love and my kids love, um, Will even had me, his feet were dirty last night, and so I just popped him up on the counter and washed his feet in the sink with it real quick um, just so he wouldn't have until he got in the bathtub just so his feet wouldn't be so dirty when he got on the furniture and stuff and so this is just awesome love it and I can't wait to try the, the hand one too so thanks for listening to my random stuff and I'm gonna do a quick of course casual outfit of the day and I'll let you go enjoy your Wednesday it is my very casual outfit today I've got on just a little this is what I love to wear these little fitted um, shirts that it's hard to get one with long enough sleeves with long sleeves and then it's still so warm here is in the 80s and um so i just put on my um little boyfriend cropped jeans american eagle belt and my jeans are from american eagle and um i love them i love all jeans from american eagle and then of course my javiana flip-flops that i wear on a daily basis then for accessories, um, I have, I don't know if you remember when I got this, but it's a little coach um, necklace and earrings that match that I wanted just for this reason when I wear the high collars. And um, my little necklace or my little ring that I have that has um, mine and Brooks Birthstones, the aquamarine and the sapphire, and my regular Michael Kors watch that I love. And I am wearing my Bare Minerals Leslie Blodgett, whatever, Santa Barbara, and I wear that every day. I don't know if I'm ever going to get tired of it. And it's one of those um, perfumes or scents that you can just take the bottle and just, you know, spray all over, you know, and it's never too much. And I end up spraying my perfume for some reason. I have that one on that shelf in my closet, and I love when I open my closet and it smells like that. And even like in the car, my seat belt, you know, smells like it, and I just love it every time 
I smell it. And when I was talking to um, my new friend Colleen, we were talking about how we both loved that scent that, um, I don't know if it's sandalwood or musk or what it is, but she called it like a boyfriend scent, that it reminds you of like a boyfriend in high school or something. And that is, I could not explain that better. So that's the kind of scent that it is. And I really encourage you to try it because it's, it's awesome. And John loves it. You know, it doesn't make him sneeze. You know, he do doesn't get on his nerves. So it's just a real mellow, great scent that I am loving. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.